depth of mathematics. Depth. D-E-P-T-H. Depth. That's a hard word for me to say for some reason. But that's what I want to talk about in this video. If you are in a class and you have a teacher, a professor, and they're decent, they know a lot of math and you probably look at them and think, wow, how are they so good? How can I become so good? And you might wonder and you might think it's impossible, but it's not. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can become as good as your teacher. You can. You can, but it's not easy. And it's, it's not something you can do in five minutes. This video is inspired by a very short email I received. I've never had anyone ask this question. And so I thought, let me just make this super short video to attempt to answer it. Because I do have multiple answers to this question. The person's name is Anthony. He actually states his last name too, but I'll leave it out. The subject is, there's, here's the word again, Depth of mathematics, D-E-P-T-H, depth of mathematics. I really have a fascination about mathematics. How much math do you know and do not? What's your recommendation to acquire your set of knowledge of math? So no one's ever asked me this. No one's ever asked me, you know, how do I know as much math as you? And so I thought, well, let me just, let me just answer this. So first of all, taught for many years, and I went to graduate school for many years. So I was in college for years and taught for years. And that's my answer, right? That's my answer. I'm not superhuman. I'm not some super genius, you know, and most people aren't, right? Most people aren't. That's why stories of like Ramanujan are so cool because, I mean, that guy was self-taught. It's just, I get goosebumps. <laughs> it's just creepy. It's a little scary, right? It's a little weird. It's a little weird, because people aren't like that, right? You watch movies like Goodwill Hunting and stuff. Stuff like that usually isn't real. Most people have some level of intelligence, and some people have to work harder than other people. Some people are better at math naturally, but most people can learn quite a bit of mathematics, and they can become really good. So how do you get there? Just practice and time. I'll never forget a moment I had. I was in graduate school. It was an algebra class. And the teacher was writing on the board. And we were working with double sums. Wow, I'm getting goosebumps. Double sums. So you have like a double summation. And someone raised their hand in the back. This is a guy. I don't, know, I don't know who he was. He had glasses and like a beard. And I said, ah, how, do you, how do you get better at this? And the reason he asked is because I think everyone was confused. I mean, he was just doing some stuff on the board. And I'm like, wow, I wasn't used to working with double sums. And he looked at the student and he said, experience. That's what he said, experience. And he's right, experience. You know, you, you go to school, you take a bunch of classes, you read some books, you do some exercises, you watch some videos, whatever. You, you go through your college education, you get your degrees, you get out. And that's it, right? You have to keep doing math or you forget a lot of it. A lot of people become teachers. That's what I did. And so when you become a teacher, you're teaching that math to other people. You're going in there every day. That's your job, right? Your job is to help people learn math. So you go in there every day and you go, you go up on the board and you explain math to other people. And by teaching other people, you become better at math. And then you do it every semester. And the next thing you know, you've taught the same class 10 times. So you know exactly what to say. You know exactly when to say it. You know exactly when to pause. You know exactly the questions people are going to ask. And you know what's going to confuse people. And then you kind of try to refine your explanations, refine your craft, so that next time you go in there and you teach the same subject, you can do a better job so people can learn better from you. And that's, that's what teaching is about. And that makes you better at math. That makes you better at math. So my answer to you is to get better at math, like me, I'll just consider myself an average teacher. You just have to do a lot of math and teach math. That's, that's how people get good. Some people don't teach and they get good at math. Right? There's people that just do research and there's people that don't like teaching. There's a lot of math people that don't like teaching. Maybe they don't like people, right? They're just really secluded and they just don't like other people and they just, 
obsess over math, that's fine. That's fine. Everyone's different. But experience, right? Practice and time and experience. These are, these are things that it just takes time. So you also asked me another question. You said, uh, how much math do you know and do not? Well, there's a lot of math I don't know. <laughs> Let me just say that. There's, there's a ton of math I don't know, my friend. Uh, there is a lot of math I don't know, Anthony. So much, right? There's so much. I have so many books. People think, do you read all those books? No, 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 no. No, I don't read all those books. I've looked at all of them and I've done some exercises for most of them. Some of them I've read entirely. I have books that I've actually read from start to finish and I've done almost all the exercises. That's pretty rare. I don't, I don't think it's common for human beings to buy a math book and read the whole thing. It's not something that most people do, okay? You might peruse it one day, read a couple pages, do a couple problems, you know, just clear your head, do some math. That's what I do. And I like it. I like it. It keeps my mind sharp. So yeah, practice, time, and experience. And yeah, there's a lot of math I don't know. And there's a lot of math I do know. There's a lot of math I do know. So that's how you really get depth in mathematics. D-E-P-T-H, depth. Not a word I ever use or say. Yeah. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. If you have any advice for Anthony on how to get really good at math, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Uh, they're actually on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, uh, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Plus, I lowered the prices, so you should always get a low price when you use my links. Hopefully, this has been helpful to someone out there. And if you're looking at your teachers and you're thinking, oh, wow, how, how are my teachers so good? How are they so smart? The answer is sometimes they're not, right? Sometimes they're not. Sometimes, you know, I've known people that have taught math and... They're okay at math. They're not like super geniuses. They're just average at math. I mean, I'm average at math. I'm not a super genius and I've taught. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.